Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to be doing a little part on bee ionic and how it helps coralline algae and corals grow even more from using these two products only. Alright, so I'm going to just do about one to two minutes each week on the growth of my coral line algae and you can see the growth of my corals through my normal update video. So let me turn off light so you can get a better look at the coral line algae. Alright, so here is my snail. It's got some. I'm, I'm going to take off the... I'm going to put on the macro lens, so hold on. Alright, so here's the coral line algae on my snail. It looks like quite a bit, actually. It's always had quite a bit. And this is the part where I started looking at to see if it was growing very much because it's pretty distinct shapes and it doesn't look like it's grown too much right there. But this of course is the second day, yes, it's the third day using it. And here's a little spot down in the corner, it's pretty purple. I'd, I just noticed that probably about the time I started using it, but it definitely was there before. And on the back of this rock, there's some there, there. It's pretty good on the rock, a little one right there. Just small patches of growing. Some on the frog spawn, some on the torch coral. Everything's kind of closing up because it's nighttime. Alright, so that's over there. There's my new worm fanworm, feather duster. There isn't really any on the front of this rock. Uh, so, But there is a little patch right there. It's not, you can't see it as well. Yeah, I'll move. Mm. It's right, I don't know. You can't see it that well, but it's been there for a while. It hasn't gotten that much larger. But, yeah. Let's go around to the back. Nothing on this rock, as you can see. So, nothing there. And there is nothing on the back wall either. No coralline growing on the back wall. No coralline growing on that rock. So, basically, here, I'm going to put the lens back on and then show you the back. Oh, here, here we go. There's some good spots. I'm going to put the lens back on so you can see them. Alright, there's some pretty big pieces on the back of that front rock right there. A little bit. There's like three spots. Pretty significant spots. One right there on the frag. And a little bit on that one way over there. And then on the back of this rock, you can see a couple more. And that's about it. There's my strawberry dotty back. No aggression towards my other fish. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all the coralline growth that I have before I started using Bionic. And as you see, my clowns are both doing healthy. Haven't, I haven't seen them flip out since that one day. <laughs> and the scratch on its back is doing a lot better. So look for an update on how Bionic affects coralline algae. So I'll be doing that probably once about I'll say every Tuesday, okay. Every Tuesday I'll do a little document. So yeah, basically not that much. None on the back glass, so week one, nothing on the back glass. Alright, so day one of Coraline Growth. Or week one, I'll just do weeks, that'll be easier to keep track of. Alright, peace.